Before I introduce the question, I'd like you to show you this little model that I've created to introduce a very important concept, that Pythagoras' theorem works in three dimensions as well as in two dimensions. So in the diagram here, I'm showing a diagonal going from point P to Q inside a cuboid. And it turns out that the square on this diagonal, A squared, is equal to B squared plus C squared plus D squared, which happens to be a right angular pathway to get from P to Q. And it turns out that any right angular pathway that you can take to get from P to Q, if you square each of the sides and sum these squares, it will be equal to the square of this diagonal. This is also a very useful concept when we're being asked to work to solve problems dealing with pyramids. The slant height A here will be equal to B squared plus C squared plus D squared, a right angular pathway to get from one corner of the pyramid to the, the apex of the pyramid. Um, so we'll see this uh, applied in the question we're about to do now. Here we have a problem that's using three-dimensional trigonometry. We're going to learn that Pythagoras' theorem actually works in three dimensions. So we have a pyramid, and we've been asked to find the slant height, AB, of this pyramid, colored in orange here. Uh, if you can find a right-angled way, pathway to get from A to V, um, well then Pythagoras will, can be used to work out this slant height. So we see if we go halfway across between A and D, that will be a distance 2, and then into the point O, that's a distance 2, and from O to V, well, the pyramid height is a height of 3. Here we're making this journey in green by turning right angles. Therefore, the slant height, x squared, would be equal to 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared, the version of Pythagoras' theorem. So if we square root both sides here, we can see that x would be, I'm going to use the calculator, is the square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared. 9 and 4 and 4, which is the square root of 17. We're now also being asked to find correct to the nearest whole number the total area of the four triangular faces. We'll draw one of them here. It's an isosceles. We know its slant height is root 17 on both sides. It has a base of 4. If I break it in half, I could turn it into this right angle triangle with a side of 2 and root 17. Using Pythagoras' theorem, theorem in this, we can see that the other side is this is the square root of 17 take away 4, which is root 13. Um, so now I could use the half base by perpendicular height formula to get out the area of, the, of each of these triangles, because I know its base is 4 and its height is root 13. So I'll just draw it out again. So we have four of these triangles. So the area of one of them is its base, 4 times root 13 divided by 2. So four of these, giving the total area, is four twos, which is eight times root 13. And just double check in the end that we've answered the question, so I have the units correct. So the area units are in meters squared, and the distance units are in meters. Mm -hmm.